Hello and welcome to my F1 23 Lamborghini Mighty and Groom I did leave for part 70 and the Austrian Grand Prix Our first sprint weekend of the season This is the grid then ahead of the sprint Max Verstappen is on pole and we are alongside him Then it's George Russell and Charles Leclerc Lewis Hamilton and Bottas Pajer and Lando Norris, Piastri and Carlos Sainz round out the top 10, Alga and Esteban Ocon, Tsunoda and Pierre Gasly, Liam Lawson and Joe Guan Yi, Fittipaldi and Lance Stroll, Albon and Magnussen and on the final right of the grid is Logan Sargent and Nick De Vries. And so we're here on the grid then ahead of the sprint, we're going to be doing the softs, obviously no strategy, should be flat out racing to the end. Hopefully no safe cars or anything like that. This is our qualifying lap then. We were down in the first sector, purple in the middle sector, but it just wasn't enough in that final sector to put it on pole. P2 though, good enough. Max going for a win at Red Bull's home track. Can we stop him? That's the aim. Here we go then. The five red lights come on for the sprint. And we're racing and sprinting here in Austria. Max has got a poor start. We've got a good one. Max is going backwards. It's a great start by George Russell to go around the outside. We've nearly made contact. We push George off. We're into the lead. Max has now lost out to Lewis Hamilton as well. It's been a nightmare start for Max for Stafford. Is George going to go to the inside leg? Yes, he is. We're going to leave him the room on the outside. And we got the better exit there and we're away and we're into the lead of the Austria Sprint from the two Mercedes Max Verstappen from P1 going absolutely nowhere tried to cover us off but then just had no grip to have a goal keep ahead of us as George goes down on the side into the second to last corner very tight there really one might be have a big oversteer moment and look at the launch that Mercedes has got off the final corner like a rocking ship past as we defend the inside line we're really squeezing into turn one he's lost out though to Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen very aggressive towards their Bottas in the background can Bottas find a way through on George Russell round the outside Bottas is trying to go who gets the exit it looks like Bottas is that to tuck in yes he has and George has stayed ahead and now this is Max Verstappen going sailing around the outside of Lewis Hamilton and he's back past both Mercedes in just five laps and towards the end of the, of the same lap, lap five Max Verstappen's flying down the inside, he tries to go on us we keep him behind, we run a little bit wide that Red Bull is flying around the Red Bull ring it's only going to be a matter of time before he is past us but we're going to give it everything we've got he goes to the inside into turn one we cut him back he was so tight into turn one we retake the lead off the ground three of the sprint now lewis hamilton is coming back at max max is sending it late though on us down the inside we fend him off around the outside we've gone off the track again and i think we may have just gone over the grass there so we might not have the best exits here Max is trying to go to the outside, we cover him off down into turn four. And now we've run wide, we've run wide, down the inside goes Max, we're trying to keep it pinned around the outside, Max on the inside, we're side by side now, we've just got our nose ahead, but Max has got a good exit, he's going to go around our outside and he's got us, we're still on the inside, we're too far back, we've had a big moment there, he's made us look stupid there. And now we're left defending the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton has overtaken us. And now we're down to P3. Max is gone. He's absolutely done us around the outside there. You know I can't let him get away with that. But that Red Bull is just too quick. As we go steaming into turn two. And go straight on. And we're still behind Lewis Hamilton. But now we've got a DRS. We should have a great run into turn four and we re overtake the Mercedes Bottas has overtaken George Russell in the background there Max has got 
unbelievable pace in that red ball. He has disappeared up the road. You can see the gap there, around three seconds. And there is the gap. You can just see him as well. Lewis Hamilton's getting closer and closer to the inside of us. Down the inside goes Lewis Hamilton. We try and hold it around the outside. We've done that and we're still into P2. So here we are then. This is Bottas all over the back of Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton's going to defend the inside, the outside line. Waving Bottas through on the inside, but he's got the exit around the outside to stay ahead of the Red Bull. But look at George Russell's exit off of turn one. I think he's passed the Red Bull as well. Round the outside, Hamilton stays ahead. George Russell on the outside. It's a traction race that George Russell has won. And he gets ahead. This is Charles Leclerc in the background. The Ferrari is slowing down with just a handful of laps to go. Oh, nearly contact with the Alpine at the final corner. But Charles Leclerc's Austria sprint is done. And he's got a very, very long Sunday ahead of him tomorrow. But now we're still fending off the Mercedes to the inside. Goes Lewis Hamilton. We show him the door. He's now going to the outside. Try to do the old switch away. Down the inside though. We keep it pinned. We've gone straight on. Hamilton has got a great exit. We're lighting up the rear tires. You can hear the wheels spin off of turn two. And now we're going to try and go back down the inside of Lewis Hamilton. We've done it. We've gone straight on again. We've cut him around. We've put a wheel on the grass. We've been tapped round by George Russell. And we've gone plummeting down after sending it into turn four. We've run wide. We've been cut back by Lewis Hamilton. I think George has front wing damage. Yes, he does. We've just one lap to go in the sprint. He's pitting for a new front wing. What is he doing? I mean, I'm not sure if there was contact. I thought at the time that there was. But Max Verstappen, up to the line, wins the Austria sprint, makes up for his very bad start. Lewis Hamilton's going to be P2. Bottas rounds out the podium. It's a double podium for Red Bull. And we are going to come home for P4. This is a replay then of what happened. We've turned in very early. We've gone bouncing over the curve. And we've just been spun round the wheel into the gravel. And then we've looped it round. This is George Russell's point of view. See Lewis Hamilton cuts his back and he had nowhere to go. I've we were already spinning before George Russell hit us there. I think it's not George's fault that's that's all on me with but we're in the grass spun round. So Max Verstappen is your winner then of the sprint. Double podium for Red Bull for the Grand Prix tomorrow. P4 for us in the end isn't too bad after that dramatic end. Piastri up there again in his McLaren and it's shaping up to be a good race from the grid. The Ferrari is down there. Science is at the back as well. I'm not sure what happened to him. But before we go to the race, we're going to be starting Stone Dead Last along with our teammate Carlos Sainz because we had a very worn engine and I thought Austria very easy to track to overtake on. So it makes sense taking it here. We're going to be starting last. So let's go then to the grid for the Austrian Grand Prix. We're going to be doing the one stopper starting on the softs going to the mediums. We know the softs can last 12 laps, so we'll see what happens. They're going to have to go further than that. But let's see what happens. We need a good start to this race as we line up on the grid then to take our space. We've done a great parking, but we've got to wait because George Russell wants an extra formation lap and he's just going around on his own and skip on a bit now here he is cheating doing an extra lap of the formation lap he's gonna have less fuel in the car now to get him to the end bit more lift and coasting but here we go then we've had the sprint now it's time to go racing which lights out and away we've got we've got to start we're past the ferrari we've had to really back off to avoid hitting the back of our teammates we're going to go to the inside though 
Science is going to get sandwiched in the middle. He's getting multiple places going up the inside. We've made a decent start. It's a Red Bull 1-2 though. Up front, Hamilton has been jumped by Bottas. And now we've seen a gap to send it on the Williams and the Aston Martin. Now it's all going to bunch up at the hairpin of turn two. Turn three on the track map. And now we're on the back of the house of Kevin Magnussen. Are we going to go inside, outside? We're going to go to the outside and go sailing around the outside. He's really going to squeeze us. The last time we went side by side there, we ended up facing the wrong way in the sprint. But Magnussen on our outside, he's still there is Magnussen. But we're finally past the house. That is crucial because the Haas, along with the Williams, is shocking this season. And now this is a bit of power to end this out for Romeo. He's got a poor exit trying to get past those two in front. We're now side by side with him. And now we're going past the Williams. We're going to try. We're going to do the up and under. But we've been tagged by the Alfa Romeo for the second time this weekend. We're facing the wrong way. We've had to do a nice... 360 we've nearly hit the barrier on the inside we've now gone through the gravel we've got tires that are on fire and we're back stone dead last we had such a good start as well and now that's just made our race very tricky the really the aim was going to be top five now it's just to get points i think there's still a long way to go but it's made our life very difficult. It's taken a couple of laps, but we've caught up to the back of the Williams and the Haas of De Vries and Logan Sargent. Williams and the Haas are just so far off the pace to everyone else this season. As we are past then Logan Sargent into turn four. And next up is Nick De Vries, who we're going to have at the inside at the penultimate corner. And we're up into P20 there and now we were just managing the pace really trying to just go forward pushing as hard as we could and you can see there just in front of our teammate is a Ferrari of Charles Leclerc I think it is that's the aim that's the points that's what I'm aiming for or it's just about points as now we are battling the other Pass of Magnussen and we re overtake Magnussen, move up into P19, taking a couple laps to catch him. Now we're on the back of Albon. This time, hopefully, we can pass him successfully down the inside. We've gone very wide, but we're past the Williams there. Very different to what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the cutback. Swap him the dummy. That was my aim, but no, that didn't work out. As now this is Bottas. It's a Red Bull 1-2 at the Red Bull wing. It couldn't be any more perfect for Red Bull at the minute. But Bottas is slowing down from the lead of the Grand Prix. Through goes Max. Through goes Hamilton. And it looks like it is all over for Bottas today. He's pulling off. He's out. The Red Bull, the Honda engine, there it is, there's smoke. The Honda engine has given up. And that's the worst track and time for that to give up. I was kind of hoping that there was going to be a safety car from it. That didn't come. But at the end of that lap anyway, we are going to box for our one and only stop of the day. We've gone three laps longer on the soft tyres than we did in the sprint. We're going to go on to the mediums that hopefully we have a bit more pace on. I wasn't catching the Williams and the Harders as quickly as I was hoping to. So hopefully the mediums will allow us to push that a little bit more as we aim for points. That's all we can aim for now, really. So let's get the ammo down and get going. Manage the pace. This is science just up the road from us. He was boxing one lap later after us. He's gone mediums, he's gone a couple laps longer. Now onto the hards. Where do we come out relative to science though? Because we were a long, long way off of science as he comes out 
of the pits. And he goes down turn one. There we are. We're just behind him. We've gained a lot of time by those on the mediums going longer to go into the hards. We've gained a lot of time and we're on the back now of science. And really, we should never see him again in this race, but we've gone down the inside. His job done. Science has tried to hold us back. And I've got to be honest, I don't think that's on from science, really. As now we're battling the Alfa Romeo Fittipaldi who tagged us round at the start of the race. That time we passed him cleanly. Is Science going to follow us through here? He's getting closer and closer. He's going to go to the outside, round the outside. Science for us in this race should be out of sight in that car. We're fighting for wins. Round the outside though, this is turning into a great move down the inside. Fittipaldi is not giving up, but Science is going to make him give up as he forces him wide at that corner. And now we were just pushing. You can see the gap to the Ferrari. It's the Mercedes of George Russell that is points. So let's just keep going. With 10 laps to go. That's all we can do. All we can do is just keep pushing and pushing. This is Joe going wheel to wheel with Yuki Tsunoda. Joe's after nearly winning the opening race of the Grand Prix till he spun on the last lap. It's just been nowhere for the rest of the season so far. We've passed him though. We're going to go to the inside of Yuki Tsunoda. We fought about the outside. We did hesitate a bit, but down the inside, job done. And now we can smell points. As now this is the three-way fight just in front of us for the points. George Russell 10th, 9th is with... 11th is Leclerc, 12th is Pacheco, we are 13th and now it's a drag race into turn 1. We've really had to back out of that there, we won't get around the outside from there. It's not like me to back out, but you can see where that was going, we were only going off the track. But this time though, we're going to go to the outside again of the Aston Martin and we're going to overtake the Aston Martin next up is the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. He was the aim from the very start of the race once we spun. We're going on the outside. Leclerc has gone defensive to the inside. We've swapped him back. Got a great exit off of that corner. And now we're on the verge of points. All we need is George Russell. And we're P10 for one point. And then anything after that is a bonus really. We're on the back now of George Lap 32. And now we're getting closer and closer. We're going to go to the outside. I think Leclerc thought about it as well. We've gone sailing around the outside of George Russell. He's having a shocker in the Mercedes when Lewis Hamilton's P2. He might be done now by the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. Leclerc's going to go to the outside. The Mercedes has got good straight line speed though. But Leclerc on the brakes gets the exit round the outside of the Mercedes. And that's a great move. But is George going to have him back to the outside? Is George brave enough to go round the outside? No, he's too far back. And Leclerc is through on, on the Mercedes. Now we're wheel to wheel with Denny Albert 4P9. We were flying on these mediums. To the inside, Alga keeps his foot in. Can we get the exit now? We're side by side as we head into the double right hander. He's still on our outside, is is Alga. We've gone wide, he swapped us the dummy, and now we are just gonna keep our foot in and go round the outside. We dip a wheel into the gravel, but we're past the Norwegian driver as up front Max Verstappen makes it back to back in Austria with the sprint Lewis Hamilton comes home for P2 and Oscar Piastri is going to pick up another podium as well and after our very dramatic Grand Prix I don't think P9 is a bad comeback Climb out of the car. The Red Bull team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. 
there's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They've performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone of the team. So that's been then your Austrian Grand Prix. From starting last, I was aiming for P5, but what happened on lap two threw that out the window. So it took P9 after the start. I don't think that's that bad of a result. Two points. It's not great in terms of the championship. Hamilton getting 18, but we did get some points from the sprint as well. So it's not too much damage this weekend. Bottas was you want to know retirement. Carlos Sainz, we need to talk 13th. We've spun with about 40 seconds off of you after we've spun and we've still beat you. You need to sort that out. In terms of the Drivers' Championship then, Lewis Hamilton has a 22-point lead over us as he's going for his 8th world title. The two wins from Monaco and Canada really have been cancelled out a bit here in Austria, which is a bit frustrating. Down at the back, there's still four drivers still yet to score, being Albon, Sargent and Kevin Magnussen. In terms of the constructors then, and Mercedes lead now by 45 points over us. McLaren then are P3, Ferrari P4, then it's Red Bull, Alpine, Aston Martin, Alpha Tauri, dropping like a stone, and then Haas, Alfa Romeo, and Williams are the only team still yet to score. So that's been your Austrian Grand Prix then, with nearly at the halfway stage of the season and the championship battle is very much on we go to silverstone next my home grand prix and we'll be looking to undo the mess of this weekend and get some points back on lewis hamilton i'll see you then goodbye